guys it's your boy td and i'm back again with another video from fantasy good sports and today's video guys it's a whole different video i'm going into the nba dfs league yes i said it the nba dfs league so what i mean by that guys is fan duel and DraftKings. i'm about to start giving you plays uh i'm not gonna say every night but at least three nights a week, guys. I'm gonna give you some plays. So I'm gonna build. I'm gonna give you three guys that you can build your DraftKings lineup around, and three guys that you can build your FanDuel lineup around. So let's start. So, and it's the three same three guys, guys, on each uh, platform. But I'm gonna give you the price breakdown. So, the first player that you should pick up for your uh, FanDuel lineup going into DFS for tonight is James Harden on FanDuel. And guys, he's 11,000. But the main reason why I'm picking him over, you know, other players um, that's, you know, got good matchups is that Kevin Durant is out. Yes, I said it. KD is out, guys. So that means that James Harden got to do a lot of scoring today. He don't just, he's just not going to be assisting the ball like he usually do, right? Because he, he's leading the league in assists per game. So James Harden is a great play. He's a smash play. Uh, I love him. He's probably triple dub tonight because he's going to be trying to score and rebound and play a little bit of defense too. So I love James Harden tonight. And guys, he's a, like I said, he's 11,000. But Fandor, usually the price is not too high to me to build your lineup. You usually can go hit get your three, I would say three heavy hitters at most. Like your three very, very expensive guys and then you can build around that. Just how you do it. That's just how I'm doing it. So I'm going to give you more videos of how I build my lineups, but that's just a start. So my next guy that you should play, you know, and I'm starting James Harden at the, at the two guard in FanDuel. But the next guy you should play at your point guard position is his teammate, Kyrie Irving. I said what I said. Kyrie Irving and James Harden are going to be scoring a lot of points tonight. They're going to be willing and dealing to guys when they get doubled. So, guys, I'll, I think those guys, 40 points, 50 points easily on FanDuel. Easily. Um, Kyrie Irving is 9,500. He's cheap. Um, and I, I just, I think his upside is so crazy, guys. I'm going to play him. So it doesn't, it does not, it doesn't matter that he's 9,500. And then I'm playing James Harden. It's 11,000. So guys, it's great. So let me move on to my center position. Cause remember I do three guys and guys, usually I'm going to give you a center every night because especially on FanDuel, DraftKings is different. DraftKings uh, doesn't play dual positions like FanDuel does. But the only position that FanDuel doesn't dual position on is center. So center is very, very important. It's like the pitcher when you're doing baseball. But that's neither here nor there. This is this is a basketball video. So at the center spot, I'm playing Jacob Portal from San Antonio. And he's only 5,500. And the reason why, guys, is the center is out for, like, a Wiseman is out from Golden State. They play in Golden State. And I don't believe nobody can check Jacob uh, Portal. I don't believe Draymond's going to be able to check him. He's too tall. So I believe he should get enough rebounds to give you 30, 40 points easily. So, you know, guys, I'm going to give you, like, a code of what do you do? How do, how do you, like, balance a guy's uh, his salary out and how many points you predict him to score? That's the times his value by five. So he should. So if a guy is five thousand, and you multiply that by five, that's twenty five hundred, right? That's twenty five points. So just do that. Just so just take the first number of his of his salary and times it by five. That's twenty five. If Jacob Porter give you anything more than twenty five points, guys, he's hitting the ceiling. He's he's giving you a boom type player. So if he gets thirty five points, don't don't be mad that he scored thirty five. You got a guy that's got thirty five points. And he's out. He's killing his value. So those are the type of guys you want in your lineup. You want guys that's gonna smash their value. Um, so let's look, go back to Kyrie Irving, 9,500. So nine times five was 45. Do you believe Kyrie Irving is going to give you 45 points, 45 points, 50 points? Yes, I believe that. Uh, same thing with James Harden. Uh, 11 times five is 55. Do I believe James Harden is going to put up 5,500? I mean, I'm sorry, 55 points. Yes, guys, I believe that. Cause he's going to be, I'm thinking he's a triple dub tonight because KD is out. Um, we know KD is out cause, uh, cause of COVID protocols, right? Um, so yeah, 50, uh, I, 
five times eleven is fifty five. I believe James Harden is gonna hit that ceiling. So if you once you do that formula, if you believe those guys are gonna hit that ceiling, then you okay. You you okay. So uh, you need guys. Just like I said, they're gonna smash the ceiling. So let's get on to uh, DraftKings. DraftKings basically the same guys, but they got different salaries. So let me tell you what James Harden's salary is on the DraftKings. Is ten thousand. So five times ten is fifty. Do I believe he's gonna score fifty points? Yes, I do. And I get like I told you with FanDuel, even though the scoring might be just a little bit different, they still kind of gauge off the same type of stats. Uh, Kyrie Irving, ninety three hundred. He's about the same as he is on um, FanDuel. Five times nine, forty five. I believe that you should too. I'm playing him. And then Jacob Porter, he's six thousand here now. So that can be maybe you might want to find somebody else on DraftKings because he's a little bit more pricier. And I do believe he's going to get 35 times 6 is 30, right? Do I believe he's going to get 30 points? Yes, I do. Uh, but if you find somebody else that's a little cheaper to help build, so you can build your lineup in other spots, then, yeah, you can maybe take somebody that's going to hit their value too. But I'm still sticking with Jacob Porter in DraftKings, um, even though he's 6000 So, guys, thank you for tuning in to Fantasy Good Sports. Guys, I'm, I, I enjoy doing basketball. This is my first game uh slate that i'm doing uh a fan doing a draft games lineup and guys i'm gonna continue to do that just make sure you thumbs up this video so i can get it out in the algorithm and let me know that you enjoyed it also guys go to the comment section and let me know what you think about my players oh uh, i go back and forth with you if you hit me up early enough then i'll be able to help you with your lineups and stuff guys um also i got a lot of stuff coming in for patreon that i'm going to offer for us with basketball i'm gonna put that there to give you some insight on how to draft um, and also, I'm going to go be, be able to show you some of my lineups. I'm not just going to tell you what to do and never show you. I'm going to show you some of the lineups that I win with. You know, and I can't give you the exact same lineup that I got because, why well, I'd be defeating my purpose, right? Um, but I will give you three heavy hitters that I'm probably going to use. So, these three guys, I'm going to use in my lineup tonight. So, guys, you should use these three guys. And also, guys, subscribe to this channel if you're new because I'm going to keep giving you cutting-edge information like I'm doing. Thank you for tuning in to this video. Have a blessed day.